In 2014, Velocity Systems launched what would be their new flagship plate carrier, the Scarab LT. If the Scarab LT looks but doesn't sound familiar, there are good reasons for that. A favorite of federal government law enforcement agencies everywhere, the Scarab LT enjoys a reputation as the plate carrier of choice at places like the Secret Service's Hammer Team. Numerous SWAT teams around the country also call the Scarab LT their own. With so many law enforcement agencies running the Scarab LT, especially at the federal level, the big question we want answered is, what makes the Velocity System Scarab LT the plate carrier of choice for federal and SWAT cops all over the country? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. So this is not a traditional review video like you would typically find on YouTube. And rather than sit here and bore you with all the details about how it's different in providing our experimental design disclosures, we put a link to all of that information in the show notes below. Just feel free to click that if you're interested. If not, let's get back to the review. Ice Ecosystem Integration is the first category we are going to cover since thermoregulation is the next night vision and Ice Age Ecosystem Integration is the genesis of this video series. For convective thermoregulation on the shoulders, the Scarab LT is a perfect host for our Ice Fence Aero Minimalist Plate Carrier Shoulder Pads. Ice Fence Classic Heavy Loadout Plate Carrier Shoulder Pads could also be used if you're running a heavier load, but the super narrow width of the Scarab LT shoulder straps is ideally suited for Ice Fence Aero Minimalist Plate Carrier Shoulder Pads with their ergonomic and patented contouring. When it comes to convective thermoregulation of the torso, the Scarab LT is another example of a modern carrier that cannot integrate Ice Fence Classic ventilation pontoons directly to the plate bags. However, we still have a solution in development called Catamaran to address this issue. While not as smooth as an organic integration like Ice Plate Exo, Catamaran will allow all Scarab LT users to run ice vents under their plate bags easily. Setup takes just a couple of minutes. As far as conductive thermoregulation is concerned, the Scarab LT does not offer a viable solution to run IMS Pro inside the carrier without modification. However, this is another area where it is worth looking at Catamaran. While still in development, Catamaran will allow you to run ice plate curve inside your Scarab LT without modifying the plate bags. Again, it isn't as optimal as the organic ground up integration built into Ice Plate Exo, but it is a good capability bridge. For cold climates, our Ice Shield Plus with optional level 3A soft armor insert can be integrated to keep your hands warm and your abdominal section protected in a highly mobile, flexible fashion. Much like temperature, weight impacts human performance in a persistent and significant way. The Scarab LT plate bags in size medium weigh in at 26.65 ounces. The Scarab LT Molly Cummerbund weighs in at 6.6 ounces. These two items together tip the scales at 33.25 ounces. This combination is the base configuration for the Scarab LT. In the show notes below, you'll find a link to our plate carrier weight calculator, part of our insights blog found on coreperformance.com. It contains weight data for all the carriers in this plate carrier overview series, along with the weight data on armor plates, pouches, and more. It is a fantastic tool for education, purchasing, or even operational planning. Wet weight is easily the most underappreciated technical consideration when it comes to modern play carrier selection. Whether sweat or salt water, moisture retention has a massive negative impact on human performance. In our testing, the wet weight of the Scarab LT came out to 66.3 ounces. This is an increase of 49.9% over the dry weight. In comparison to the other play carriers we have previously covered in this series, this is one of the more significant increases in weight. The entire interior lining of the Scarab LT plate bags is made of spacer mesh and foam. For additional details on the thermal performance characteristics of spacer mesh, check out the link below in the show notes to another Insights article that shows a number of different materials, including spacer mesh, under FLIR. It is a terrific and unique empirical look at how various materials used in plate carrier construction perform when it comes to managing the body heat we generate while wearing armor and kit. No guessing, no opinion. No pseudoscience, just sensors and data.
Thermal transmittance is the transfer of heat through matter. In our case, that matter is the body-facing section of a plate carrier plate bag. Since kit is already insulating by nature, you want to find gear, especially plate carriers and body armor, that have the highest possible thermal transmittance. In other words, you want to find plate carriers and body armor that have the minimum amount of insulation. The baseline surface temperature of the Scarab LT measured at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. After inserting ice plate curve directly from the freezer, the temperature shifted down to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a temperature shift of 7 degrees Fahrenheit. So what do these numbers mean? The smaller the spread between the baseline surface temperature and the ice plate inside surface temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. The smaller the thermal transmittance number, the worse the carrier is at expelling heat from the interface between your body and the plate carrier. The larger the thermal transmittance number, the more efficient the plate carrier is at expelling heat from your body carrier interface. In other words, smaller numbers mean you run hotter, bigger numbers mean you run cooler. Small numbers bad, big numbers good. The Velocity System Scarab LT is built from materials regularly used in basic plate carriers today. 500D nylon, ultra comp shoulder straps, spacer mesh, tweed, velcro, plastic, elastic, and YKK zippers. When it comes to unique features, the Velocity Systems Scarab LT uses patented swivel shoulder straps with D ring attachments combined with narrow ultra comp shoulder straps. In theory, this should allow the shoulder straps to adjust and sit comfortably on any user. The Scarab LT also uses proprietary zip-on panels with a 13-inch Vizalon 10V zipper. In our load testing, the D-ring design found on the Scarab LT does make some noise. In this sense, it is louder than a monolithic architecture found on plate carriers like the LV119, JPC 2.0, and AVS. With a pair of level 3 armor plates and three full PMAGs, the Scarab LT read out at 69 decibels on our decibel meter when activating the swivel D-rings. The decibel meter was positioned to simulate at the ear noise level. We did not repeat this test on other carriers like the JPC 2.0, AVS, SPC, or LV119 because they do not make any noise. The Velocity System Scarab LT uses industry standard detachment mechanisms. Velcro, Molly, Swift Clips or G-hooks, Zip-on panels, Vizalon YKK 10V, 13 inches in length. Sizing for the Scarab LT plate bags is as follows. Small, medium, large, and extra large. The Scarab LT Molly Cummerbund is available in the same sizes with the additional options of the basic Scarab LT Molly Low Profile Elastic, Low Profile Elastic with Divider, or Molly with Plate Pocket. Both the plate bags and the cummerbund are offered in multicam, black, coyote, and ranger green. Shoulders have ample sizing adjustment for in-between sizes. One wrap is used to mount the cummerbund to the inside of the rear plate bag. The Scarab LT accepts sappy and e-sappy plates in accordance with the size of the carrier, i.e. large carrier, large plates. It is designed for plates up to one inch thick. The country of origin, commonly abbreviated as COO, is an incredibly important consideration when it comes to plate carrier selection. COO is a dependable, but not absolute, indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. We reached out to Velocity Systems via email to ask where their Scarab LT plate carriers are made, and they had this to say, quote, All of our products are 100% made in the U.S., and we make them in our production site in Northern Virginia, end quote. We reached out via email on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 at 4.54 p.m. and received our reply Thursday, November 10th, 2022 at 2.35 p.m. Velocity Systems sells the Scarab LT complete with the Scarab LT Cummerbund for $338. Here's how that compares to other plate carriers on the market today. So that's going to do it for our technical plate carrier overview of the Velocity Systems Scarab LT. We've compiled data and now published videos on five other plate carriers, the Cry JPC 2.0, the AVS, the SPC, the FCPC V5, and the LV119. If you haven't checked those videos out, please do so. And we really want to know two things. How do you think that the Scarab LT stacks up against those carriers? And why do you think that the Scarab LT is a favorite of law enforcement agencies everywhere? Let us know down in the comments below. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And don't forget that to stay up to date with the latest in all aspect thermal regulation, follow us on Instagram at Core Performance and sign up for our Launchpad emails. Link in the show notes below. Until next time, I'm your host, Justin Lee. Stay frosted.